Hello everybody, welcome back to Control. In this video, we are going to continue this adventure and head towards the communication department to find the um, the phone, red phone, I guess. So there head it is here. again, a welcome message. Okay. So the door is still open, doesn't lock me in. Alright. Can I open this? No, I still don't have a key card. This doesn't look good. Okay. So his patrolling. Holy crap. Sauce. <laughs> but I thought I would be okay. Week 83 report. Summary. Visit the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel Inn and Out, Aztec Court, Sleep Eber Model, Silver Spurs Ranch, Elgato Blanco, INN, A Plus Lodge. Expeditures, accommodation, minus 824, meals, it's some kind of, a, you know, expenses report. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked stake. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Raleigh and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Haynes, the boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those Little whiskeys is my ritual. All right. That's a pretty little tree. Now it gets more bloody. Oh. So this is where I have to go. But before I do go, let's have a look at the cafeteria. Oh. Okay, down you go. Uh, Phil researched on his entity, his barrier are confidential. Okay, the history students feel is physical implemented that is difficult to define. His barrier appears as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources around the vicinity. Destroy the his entities in the area. The resonance field seemed to require support for the size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Doesn't an active structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? 
Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Okay. It, it talks about this thing was here just a moment ago. It looks like since I eliminated all of them here, it's no longer present. Let me get what I can get from these little boxes. Let's scatter around to the ladies. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart, green stable, yellow, low possibility of anticipated building shifts, orange, high likelihood of anticipated building shifts, red, frequent anticipated building shifts, okay. So this might occur a building shift, but a small percentage of it. Should I go to this area or should I go? Should I check out that one? Should I go here? What does it lead to? I uh, just uh, just a room. Oh. Okay. So, I need to somehow disable that part. So it's good I didn't go. Okay, let, let me heal up. Alright. Then our only way is to go through here. Hmm. Alright. Might be a boss fight. Dead letters. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's but a machine's instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate of God. I would never hire you, my friend. You seem too, too disturbing to me. <laughs> All right. Okay, nothing there. What the? What? Got stuck in this. This stray thing. Look at the reflections. It's going off. Okay, you go down. Maybe I'll use it for cover. Maybe we could be friends. Okay, there we go. This one has a barrier around it, so it might likely be destroyed by my kinetic power. Long range fighting. Hey, buddy. All right, how about here? Whoa. Okay. Nothing's here is moving. How about... There's something here. Okay. It's got 
damn so dark in here. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they were... But they never come to my house. I got a problem. And you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife... One of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you've got to come handle it. My, my wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. What the hell? So this was a... Uh, it says dead letters, machine god, singing fish. Maybe, maybe these are like events, like AWE events or something like that. Hmm. There's another one. Now this one is uh, more official. To Zachariah Trench from P. Part well. Subject department approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Brewer collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purpose, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The, puro, the bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the Erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze letters for any information or suspected connections to data AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Okay. So these are actually, as I told you, events that happened to normal people like you and me but who says we're normal <laughs> okay anything else to gather here nope I have to go upstairs oh there's a uh Oh, there's gonna be a fight. Oh, that's tricky. That was tricky. You see, they were just floating there, doing nothing, and all of a sudden they dropped. So you never know when one of these things can attack you or not. Okay, it's time to put this back to normal. Navigate through the com communication tab. Cleanse control points to gain access. Yeah, okay. We know fast travel. Yeah, fast travel could be helpful. Definitely. So, um... This one's locked. But we got... Got this one here. Okay, we're gonna go to the small one. Just look okay, at what it. do we have here? Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. 
It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Okay, that's interesting. We're on the right track. Whatever, if you make and make some sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're on the right track, but hold on, lady. Yeah, I don't think anything else here is gonna be useful, so we're just gonna go through here. Okay. We are here, and. We're gonna go... Okay. Before going upstairs, I'm gonna have a look at here. Since we cleanse it, it's just a toilet. I always use the toilets. They're for a reason. You can find some stuff sometimes. But other times, they're just plain empty. Plain dead empty. Okay, how about... What the? What the hell? Pneumatics. This guy just died. Holy cow. What the? Oh, this is a barrier. This is a barrier, alright. So th in this area, there might be someone... the object of power to cleanse it. Crouch to take cover behind low objects. Holy crap, so this this thing is like also shooting us. Okay. Okay. We can go through here, I guess. Is the toilet again? No. Very carefully. Not to disturb it, but I guess we have to go around anyway. Alright. Um, I don't want to go there. But I just have to oh, holy crap. Okay. Okay. It looks very pissed. <laughs> but we have to go down, unfortunately. Up and down. Okay. Toilet is locked. Whatever that is. We have to go upstairs. So, so it's shooting these things, and it kind of knocked out a guy. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, let's go up to the other side. Run, 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 run. Anything here of useful? No. Okay. Is it time for cleansing? Reach the ocean with power to cleanse it. Okay. I think it's time for cleansing. Oh. I just went to it and just... It just cleansed. I mean, stop firing me at least. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? 
I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, hold and grab highlight objects to release and launch. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Well, look at that. All right, rechargeable power. Simple bar. Okay, maybe we should just. Is it draining if I hold it like that? No, it's not. What the? Oh, okay, we might have to take these. Okay. It's funny how they put you in this little tutorial every time you get access to something new. So you can use launch to complete the astral plane challenge, yeah. So you can actually stack up these things, well, objects, to be able to get to higher places, I guess. Okay, I have to fight these. Now this goes much faster. It's like auto attacking them. Almost. Alright buddies. Okay, wait a minute. We're out of out of juice. Okay, let's take this one. Okay, I think we're done with this. It's not bomb delivered. There you are. You were gone. The his antagonist is seeking our astral plane. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fire extinguisher. Okay. Okay, fuckers. Come and get me. So I'm gonna use this to shield... The shield enemies. It was a fire extinguisher, actually. Wait a minute. Maybe we could use this. It's kind of stable, though. Where are you, buddy? Okay, chill guy. Oh, that was an explosive one. Okay, you go down. Fire extinguisher. Was that it? See through, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, boy, what the hell? Okay, I have to be fucking careful. Yeah. Because I would blow myself up. Is this guy is not dead? What the? Okay. I guess this plane box won't do much damage, but the explosive ones are very helpful. Okay, should I go back now? Okay, with F you can just release it. Anything that's more lethal than the plane. Okay, maybe maybe this is 
so I can break these shields with this now. Oh no, it's level two. I thought it was one of the bosses, but no, that's okay. He kicked my ass the other time, so... How about the shelter? Anybody home? Nope. Okay. What is this? Book Club Samson. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually need a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this is alright. The title unless you could refer to a bunch of things in the book. I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid the way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase, but real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers in gun space hippies or badass bunch of warriors who got around devouring uh, planets like cheap sushi on Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitation anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. Okay. Some someone likes space operas. How about take this one this one looks pretty dangerous Emily said that the hotline can Could be make some damage through the mail room mail room is over there Mail room is over here. Oh, what the? Why did it let let it drop? Are you out of juice? I uh, saw so at some after. Oh, this is the mail room. After a certain point, it just. Uh, Nope. This must open the door. Well, I killed the hiss, so. Clue. Oh, okay. So now I have the clearance to level one doors. As it seems. Okay. Oh, it's a control point. Okay. Also. A save button. Alright, a bunch of stuff here is open. Toilet's too dark. I don't like this. Okay. Maybe there is something in this darkness, but maybe not. I don't know. Before we go, before we go to the mail room, we'll just have a quick look if there's anything here to be salvaged. What? Personal mods. Okay, I can put any of these to effect. Um, 
Empty slot one. What's this? Just drag it. Energy, energy. Health recover per element pickup. Energy recovery speed. Launch energy cost. Okay, I put one of them. Energy recovery speed. Or you could just boost it. Okay. Weapon mods. Oh, so here you can put stuff. Uh, grip is reliable with semi-automatic fire that is deadly at short and long range. Okay. Um, exclusive to shadow grip. 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 Yeah. Damage against enemy armor. Reload speed. Uh, maybe this? Might be better than nothing. Okay, so we picked up a mod. What is this? There's a little bunch of stuff. Uh, field research on his entity. He's corrupted demolition expert. The bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our, weaponry. Our demolition experts are, are instructed in case of explosives in dimensions with the strict physical laws, making them important assets for engineering works as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield a specially built rocket propelled grenade uh, designed to identify and track entities once fired. Oh, this is not good. Making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the HIS restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for this for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupt entities? Still too many unknowns. Yeah, this one's the guard. And this one's the rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their his corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during EWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armors. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shield of dense His resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the His rangers are capable of applying to a situation, it is feasible to consider that human mind still remains intact to some degree. Or is it the His able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. Okay, we got the floppy disk. Must be containable in a solid, no other loose material. The object is an 8 inch slide containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. Yeah, we, we got this. Okay. It's funny, but I can rip. Oh, I can rip this off and not hear your bullshit. Perhaps. You're listening to America Overnight. Okay. There's a radio recording. Okay. What it's in what's in the shelter? I wonder if we're gonna find somebody here. Like an enemy at some point. Some electric guitar rhythms. Alright. 
So there's nothing else to see here except this is um yeah, it does save. Okay. Okay. So this is the next room we're going to go. But uh that will happen um in the next video. So um thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'm going to see you in the next one.